Hey guys, it's Simon again, and I had a request for another video, so um, I am making it on this Sunday. Um, I just want to preface this by saying that um, there's no activity on Sunday, so a scanner isn't actually going to do anything, but I can show you the steps on how to do what he requested, and it will work for you um, as when the market opens. So the request was actually a video on how to scan within a watch list that you already have, and then for... The scanner to alert you every time something on that watch list becomes a part of whatever the scan is looking for so I know that wasn't explained very well so I'm just gonna go through the whole process and then as I'm going through it it hopefully will be explained better but um, so we're starting with thinkorswim and we go to the scan tab and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new scanner and on this menu bar you'll hit the menu icon and you'll go to load scan query and then to create scan query so once that opens up we'll make a scanner I'm actually going to do a momentum scanner and this will be a simple momentum scanner that doesn't have um, it only has two studies on it and I'll explain that too as I'm going so I'm just going to save that and then we'll actually make the edits to it um, after we load it so we'll save it here and then we'll go back to that menu item and we'll go to load scan query and under personal that Momo scanner is now there. So you'll load it and we'll go, we're going to actually make some changes to this. So on the stock we're going to go, we're going to change net change to percent change and we're going to do a 3% change. Find that 2% is too low and 5% is too high so you can miss a lot of stuff. So 3 is actually okay. You can actually tweak this a little bit. Uh, to whatever um, if you find that it's not working properly for you you can I think you can do half a percentages and things like that so even something like two and a half two and three quarters and then the max is unlimited then then we're gonna actually delete volume on uh, these next two and we're gonna add a filter and we're actually gonna add a study filter now I do want to also say that if you're using the paper trading account you won't have access to study filters uh, you have to have a live account in order to do that. So if you can't find that, that's the reason why. Or if, if you can't select it, that's the reason why. So under study, we're going to change this to price performance. And we're going to actually go to the very bottom selection, which is price direction. And then we're going to leave everything the way it is. So the close has increased over the last three consecutive bars. But we are going to make one change. And we're going to change the day to one minute because we're looking for minute by minute changes. So once that's done, we're going to go back to the menu item again, and we're going to save the scan query. And it's already called Momo, so we're just going to save it over Momo. And it's going to ask us if we're okay with rewriting it, and of course we are. So, so now you can do a scanner, and you can scan through all stocks. But what he wanted was to how to scan to a specific watch list that you have. So I have a watch list that I made earlier today, and I called it... Sorry, this is rated R, my fucking watch list. And so this, I actually put to get, put this together. I just found all of the stocks that trade at $150 or more and that I've heard of before. So I didn't use any any um, ticker symbols that I, I've never heard of the company because I'm not really that interested and there's thousands. So I just went with companies that I've actually heard of and familiar with. So I actually saved this um, as a file that you can import into your thinkorswim if you're interested in having it and i'll link that to that in the blog post it's under um it's on my google drive so once you have that then what you do is up here at the top where it says set up scan and scan in if you click on scan and you can actually load whatever watch list you want to load into this so this one's called under personal my fucking watch list and then you'll hit scan so nothing's going to come up because there's no movement right now so that makes sense but if you do this part it'll still work and on opening when the market opens it'll start working its scan so you click on right next to where it says no matching symbol and you'll click on the menu icon there and you'll save this uh, and you'll select alert when scan results change so every time a symbol is added to this scanner it'll if you open up the notify with you'll make sure that play with sound and you can change to whatever sound you want to and you can push a little play button to show what kind of sound but I use the bell and then 
I actually have this sent to my phone too. So I get notifications on my Thinkorswim app on my phone. So that way I, even when I'm not at my computer, I can still see things happening. And then on the bottom options, you'll click on the little arrow on that one and you'll, so basically I do it for every message. Whenever, anytime there's a change, it'll update me. And then I have it to set for not expire. And then I'll just create that. And now I have an alert set. And you can actually look, see that here too, under Momo with a little icon next to it. So now this should now alert you every time a ticker is added to your scan. So that's pretty much it. Um, I use just a simple scanner for this, but there's so many different scanners out there and there's people who are actually writing um, some pretty awesome scanners. I'll also link to that. There's a website that actually has all of the um, programming for different scanners and different um, studies and things like that that people have written on their own. And you can actually download those and then load them onto your Thinkorswim so that you don't have to know any programming or anything. You just have to know how to load um, the study or load the scanner. So, so I hope that helps with this. And then I will start making other videos uh, more often. I've been really, really like busy just focusing on my trading and stuff. So I haven't had a lot of time to do do uh, videos, but I am going to make it a priority. So I'll, I'll try to put one out at least once a week, um, if not more. But I hope that helped y'all, and I hope y'all have a green week this week. And I will talk to you later.